Hello and welcome to this video on researching. And yes, so you've been assigned to do a research paper for a class. What are you going to do? Oh dear. Now, keep in mind, a research paper is basically where you have uh, got a topic and you're trying to make a point about the topic and you're using other people's research. You can do your own research, but generally other people's research to back up your point. You're bringing in an army to back you up. Okay, now, a lot of people get confused when it comes to writing papers, especially when they first start writing research papers. They confuse them with opinion papers. Now, remember, okay, your opinion is not fact. It's just an opinion. That's important to remember because I can't tell you how many times students go to write a research paper and they start off with, let's say your topic is legalizing marijuana. The student will start off with, I think we should legalize marijuana because... Well, you know, not meaning to sound rude, but I don't care what you think, okay? Most people don't care what you think because everyone thinks something differently. A stronger way would be legalizing marijuana would add the following benefits to society, and then you would have a list of some things that you would then back up with proof. Or legalizing marijuana would have the negative impact on society, and then you would have research done by other people who are experts in their fields to back them up. Oh... Oh, yes, your own personal experiences and your own personal opinions should not be included in a research paper. That's not what a research paper is for. Again, I have students time and time again, I feel this way and I think this way. Well, okay, yes, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to, you know, to feel that way and whatever, but this is not what the assignment is. The assignment is to pick a controversial topic and look for research to back up the point that you're trying to make. Well, where do you find that information? Well, the easiest place to go is to Google Scholar. Now, notice, not just Google, but Google Scholar. Okay? You just type in Google Scholar in Google, and you go to this website, because it'll actually help you find legitimate real sources that you can use in a research paper. So let's say we're talking about legalization of marijuana. Okay, then I can search for this. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to find articles that are basically, these are educational, and these are scholarly articles that will help you write your paper. If you just use plain Google, then you're going to find who knows what, people who have their own, you know, have written opinion papers on it or make claims that they can't back up, but these are all considered to be good, positive sources. And a note, um, doing research using Wikipedia, uh, no, never! Never! You cannot use Wikipedia to write a research paper, so don't even try that, okay? Use Google Scholar. It'll get you where you want to go. So then you would go, let's say you wanted to read, let's say, this article here, okay? And you're trying to find this, and then it kind of gives you some information. You can view the full text, and you're like, okay. And then, oh, this is where I get information that I can use to back up my paper. Now, if you copy and paste any information, from this source that's not yours, you have to cite it inside the text. Meaning you have to say, hey, I got it from this source. I didn't write this. Remember, anything in a research paper that you did not write, you have to say where you got it from. Otherwise, it's plagiarism, and that's bad. That's really bad, okay? So, let's say you wanted to use this quote here. It's like, oh, that's really good. Let's see what's a good quote. Oh, look. Um, in a periodic survey of fellows of the American, you know, society, blah, 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 18% favored legalization, 26%, okay, whatever, okay, oh, that's a good quote, okay, and 24% that should remain illegal, but penalties, whatever, okay, let's say you want to use this quote in your paper, okay, well then, if you copy and paste this, you have to say, hey, I got it from this source, and the author of this would be Joffy, I guess, okay, now, how do you cite it? Well, there's all sorts of little citation tools. So you click over here on citation tools, let you find which one you'd like the best. But the point being, and there's other sources you can get as far as, you know, how your teacher wants to do it, whether it's MLA or APA formatting. But for this, this is what you need to do. And anything that you have taken from an outside source, or if you paraphrase this, if you have in your paper that you've got these, you know, these numbers, I'm going to be wondering, where did you get this information from? You have to say where you got it from. So... Very important um, concepts behind doing a research paper. It's not an opinion paper. One more time. With love, you're not writing an opinion paper. And the easiest way to do this is to not use I or you or your or me. Those pronouns. Don't use those. 
You want to use third person only. Okay? Not I, me, you, your, whatever. Yeah. And that's how you would then do some research on your topic. All right. Now, go do it.